BBC Two heads off now to a small island off the coast of Finland. They've got to be creative. This solid, if it is heated, can change to a liquid and to a gas, and we're going to try and simulate with that with our six volunteers. The, the higher the temperature, the more they wobble. We're at the gas phase now, and they're vibrating really, really, really fastly. Really vibrating. fastly. Now, we're running around. Really fast. Slowly push it down into the liquid nitrogen. Push, 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 push. <laughs> oh, it's the disappearing balloon. Right, turn round, drop it. Oh. Right, so it's lost its flexibility. Tap it on the edge of the bench. And it's expanding as the, as the gas inside the balloon warms up. Got some lamb for tea. What time do you want it? Well, about half seven. I don't do very much okay. cooking. I do a lot of eating, quite a bit of drinking, but I don't do any cooking, um, apart from when we have people for a meal, and then I do the puddings, and that's it. I rely on my husband to do all that. Mum, tea's ready. When Elaine won the prize, I think it was one of the proudest days of my life. She made a wonderful speech, and knowing how hard she worked, she deserved it. It's a great honour for her and a great honour for the school. To the Salter's Chemistry Teacher of the Year. Thank you very much. The For Learning website contains a range of interactive learning and teaching resources as well as detailed information about Channel 4 school services. For further details, go to forlearning.co.uk. Now on Channel 4 schools, it's all about keeping fit in All About Us. Sure what to do. Look no further, I'll be there for you. I may be small and furry, I may have button eyes, but I know how to keep healthy. It's really no surprise. Look no further, I'll be there for you. I'm the Ted you need. I'll take the lead to show you how to look after yourself. This is Edward. He's been out with his dad. Edward, Edward, what have you done? My ankle. Which ankle is it? My left ankle. The left one. Does that hurt there? Yes, I Oh, I'm hurt. sorry. Nita! What's happened? Edward's fallen off his bike and hurt his ankle. But we ought to get him to hospital. We'll see. Let's get him into the house. Oh, I'm sorry, Edward. Edward hasn't broken any bones, but it's still a nasty injury. Let's have a closer look. Edward's twisted his ankle. See the red strips there? That's the muscle. It's all torn and bleeding. Muscles are like a piece of stretchy elastic. They help us to move our arms and our legs and other parts of our bodies. We need to exercise them to make sure they stay healthy and can stretch properly. But Edward will have to rest his ankle for a while to make sure his muscles get better. He wants to be fit for the school sports day. Here we are, I found a pin. Oh, Ed, don't worry. A few days rest and you'll be fine for sports day. Come on, you two, cars packed. <gasps> cars packed. Come on, time to go on holiday. All the family are off for a fun packed weekend. There's Dad, 
Mum and little brother James, and big sister Charlotte. I hope poor Edward will be able to join in with some of the games at the Adventure Centre. Here they are. Do you know what game they're playing? It's badminton. Poor Edward can't join in with this game. Don't worry, Edward. After a few days rest, you'll soon be fit enough for the school sports day. At least he can join in the Templin bowling. Well done, he nearly knocked them all down. Let's see how James can do. Now they're playing racquetball. James is hot and breathing hard. That's because his heart is beating fast. And like poor old Edward, because he's resting, his heart's beating slowly. Let's have a look at James's heart. It's here, inside his chest. It's working hard, a bit like an engine. It pumps lots of blood around his body to the muscles he's using as he plays. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to the restaurant. You're fed up? All right. We'll see you there later, OK? That's right, Edward. You rest your leg and read a story. Oh, no. Even the book's about exercise. It's called Jump! Every Saturday morning, Stephen sat with his father and watched his older sister, Teresa, at her ballet class. There were three boys in the class, Michael, Joe and Barry. Stephen longed to join them. After the class, he danced with Teresa all the way home. One day when the boys and girls were...